So that means you can't touch me. That's right, I forgot. Hello everyone, this is Peak Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and this will be a recent subscriber movie request who has asked me to take a look back at the crime action thriller Out for Justice. Released on April 12, 1991, it stars Stephen Seagal, William Forsyth, Gina Gerson and it was directed by John Flynn. Now the story of Out for Justice is that it is set in present day Brooklyn following the story of NYPD detective Gina Felino and his partner Bobby Lupo who while staking out a potential drug deal intervene a group of pimps who are beating down women in the streets. Shortly afterwards Bobby is brutally murdered outside a shop by psychotic drug gangster Richie Mandano who is causing mayhem all over the city with drug deals and a violent killing spree. Not only is this a problem for the police trying to track him down but it's also an issue for the several city mafia groups concerned of Richie's actions bringing too much attention. Feeling vengeful Gino goes all out in a one man mission to take down Richie by any means necessary. Now overall Out for Justice is a solid entertaining actioner that's full of energy and high pace particularly in its first half where the movies are strongest. When Gino is freely walking into various bars and clubs shaking and beating everyone down as he's looking for answers. It's at this stage of the movie where it's very much sharing the same tone and look of other classic urban thrillers released at the same time such as New Jack City and King of New York. It has that same raw gritty feel towards it without the running commentary of the effects of drugs and narcotics within urban communities. The movie was the cusp of a great run of successful movies from Steven Seagal with the likes of Nico, Hard to Kill and Marked for Death where he was showing serious signs of becoming the next big mainstream action movie superstar. And like the movies during this run, Out for Justice has a certain no-nonsense efficiency about it, there's no filler, there's no bloat, it's very small in scale which keeps it moving along very nicely. And in terms of an actual acting performance, it might be Seagal's best movie overall. I think this is the role that mostly gives him plenty of room to exude a wisecracking attitude and personality and yes it's great fun just seeing him strolling around and beating down all of the criminals whilst also having to work alongside the mafia. The best scene of the movie is an extended sequence of Gino walking to a bar searching for answers and smashing people into phone booths, knocking them down on tables, pushing them through doors and down flights of stairs, throwing insults and one-liners left right and centre and not taking no for an answer. And if you ever wanted a summarisation of the Stephen Seagal action archetype then it's this scene that definitely represents it the most. Now whilst at a lean 90 minutes the film's pace does labour and slow down in the second half as Gino discovers more about Bobby's private life and his misdemeanours. Now William Forsyth is sadly very one note and lacklustre as a villain, really lacking any depth and according to certain reports if you read them online, many of his scenes were actually cut in fear that he was overshadowing this presence of Seagal. And also nobody else within the movie really gets a chance to impose themselves in a strong supporting performance. Now whilst Seagal does carry the movie competently enough, it would have added I think a bit more interesting elements and layers if more characters were brought to the fold in terms of the overall story. And the movie's ending itself, whilst not terrible, it also feels a bit routine and anticlimactic, certainly if you've watched previous movies of Seagal coming into this overall film. So if I had to give a score for Out for Justice, I would give it a 6.7 out of 10. So when we look at the movie's overall release and it managed to gross 40 million alone in the US amongst only a 14 million dollar budget. And as stated before it really was the penultimate movie of Stephen Seagal's emergence before achieving major mainstream success with Under Siege a year later in 1992. And in terms of his movies collection I wouldn't put out for justice as his best entry 
as I believe that distinction belongs for Marks for Death and you can check out a review of that movie within the channel and I'll leave a link within the description. But as it is, Out for Justice still remains an enjoyable high action thriller and yet another fine entry in the best phase of Steven Seagal's career. So those are my overall thoughts, feelings and review for Out for Justice, let me know what you think in the comments below, how do you think it compares to other movies within Steven Seagal's career, particularly his early rise before he reached major superstardom, are there any other movies within this collection that you'd like to see me review, let me know in the comments and if you ever have other suggestions or requests regarding any movies or television series or indeed any other issues within the entertainment industry that you'd like to see me cover then also let me know in the comments and I will see if I can provide further commentary on you on those topics within the future. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now, take care of yourselves and I will see you very very soon.